We all love to take photos, but sometimes our images don't turn out the way we thought it would. Usually, the problem has to do with dynamic range. The dynamic range of a subject is the difference between the darkest and the lightest tones. In a photo like this, where you can see very dark shadows and very bright highlights, the dynamic range is considered higher or wider. This is confirmed by the left and right spikes in the histogram, which shows the image mostly contains very dark or very bright tones. On the other hand, an image where the brights aren't overly light and the dark parts aren't too dim is considered to have lower or narrower dynamic range. This is confirmed again by the histogram, where most of the tones are in the middle or the mid-tones. Cameras also have a dynamic range, but that refers to the amount of shades it can capture. Most photographers will want the camera to capture the entire range of tones to get a proper exposure. Cameras, however, have limited dynamic range, which means that they capture far fewer shades than your eye does. So in high contrast images, the sky will be washed out or the buildings reduced to black shapes, as you can see in this photo. To compound this issue, we've mentioned before that a smartphone has a much smaller sensor and can handle much less dynamic range than even a compact camera. So the question is how to manage the limitations of dynamic range to get proper exposure and beautiful shots. So with that, let's list four tips to increase dynamic range in your smartphone. Number one, take photos during golden hour. This first tip is more relevant to outdoor shots. Golden hour is roughly the first hour of light after sunrise and the last hour of light before sunset. During these times, the sun is low in the sky, producing a soft, diffused light. For example, this photo was shot around golden hour and comes straight out of the iPhone. No editing, no flash, no tripod, yet you can see color and detail in both the sky and the subject. Here is another example just after sunset. The sky has a vivid blue hue and the lights nicely balance the scene. So the first tip of improving dynamic range is simple. Shoot when the time is right. Number two, use fill flash. Fill flash is a photographic technique used to brighten deep shadow areas. This is useful when the background is significantly brighter than the subject of the photograph. Thankfully, iPhone now does a much better job of balancing illumination from the flash and the ambient light in your environment. Here is an example without flash and with fill flash. Do note there are drawbacks with flash. Some events do not allow flash photography and too much flash might make a shot look worse. Number three, shoot in RAW. Starting from iOS 10, the iPhone now supports the RAW format. One of the huge benefits of shooting in RAW is that it contains more dynamic range than a compressed format like JPEG. This means that details in the shadows and highlights that would otherwise be lost if shooting JPEG would be recovered in post-processing using a RAW file. Let's take a photo in RAW and demonstrate improving the exposure through post-processing. I'm going to use the Apple Photos app to edit this RAW file. As it is a badly underexposed photo, I'm going to edit the shadows, black point, and other relevant sliders to balance the tones. You can see the RAW file contains enough data to successfully bring back details in very dark shadows and very bright highlights without clipping or excessive noise. Do note that shooting in RAW does have drawbacks. The first is the three times larger file size compared to JPEG. Second, the time-consuming process to actually edit photos requires skill and patience for everyday shooters. Number four, shoot in HDR. The final way to improve dynamic range is called HDR or high dynamic range. You might have seen a ton of marketing on this. HDR enhances dynamic range by combining images taken at different exposures in a process called tone mapping. As smartphones have increased in processing power, it is now widely common to capture HDR images straight out of the camera instead of separately uploading images into special HDR software. You can see the various photos taken with HDR and non-HDR. Notice the significant improvement in exposure in all the images. Overly dark shadows are lightened and bright highlights are toned down. So to summarize the four ways to improve dynamic range. Number one. If shooting outdoors, come at the golden hour to get great exposure and balance images. Number two, use fill flash to expose deep dark shadows, but make sure the flash can reach the subject. 
Number three, shoot in RAW if you are familiar with editing and don't mind the large file size. Number four, shoot in HDR and use the iPhone's powerful processing to overcome the camera sensor's limitations. So I hope you liked this video. If any of the tips helped you take better photos, do share them in the comments below. Also, like and subscribe. Till the next video, 